right there. Pretty much missing that quarter half of the piston there. Welcome back. Just having some fun with this Jeep. Um, getting getting started. I'm just now tearing it apart. I bought some book on Amazon for the Jeep 4.0s, but got the oil pan off now. Just now took it off, and um, this is completely caked. And then there is a piston that's in really bad shape. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it right down there. Right there is a piece um, down in there. I dropped another one. It was right on this side. Um, there was a big chunk right here. I'm um, just sitting right in there. All right, right, that's not it, but um, that's just a glare. But there was a big chunk right there, and um, I picked it up, but I actually dropped it down in there further. And I, I don't see anything on that piston in particular, which is the one that we thought was the the one that was messed up. But it actually is this third one here. Um, it's down low right now, but I'm going to try to crank it in just a second and show you. But you can see that skirt is just shattered on that one. Um, it may not be the only one with the pieces scattered all over in there. So um, that's the the lifters didn't fix it, and that's the sound we're hearing now. Actually, here's the other piece. I laid it on the workbench over there. So I pretty much got everything off except for, you know, main stuff now, I guess, the hard part. Uh, everything else is pretty easy. There's not a lot of alignment and stuff from what I understand but I'm stopping for the night for this so uh, so I guess you were supposed to mark these so that you know basically the same thing as keeping organized that's the main main deal you know um, got everything over there all set up keeping organized because pretty much everything you take off you want to put back in the same place if it's not being replaced this is not a how-to video of course this is a you can do it video because first one I've ever done so if you want to know how to do it I recommend uh, getting a book or watching a series of videos there's a few out there I bought this and I just have it up on the screen out here um, this is my little I'm fixing to make a little cart for it for TV but uh, I used it for the service manual when I'm uninstalling things and whatever I just put it up on the screen there I have a junky old laptop that's got duct tape and everything else on it uh, so I don't care how dirty it gets and I just leave it on the screen and follow along um, this one's called Jeep 4.0 Engines, How to Rebuild and Modify. Um, it's written by, I forget, I got it on Amazon Kindle for 12 bucks, And it goes through, this is the disassembly part right now. So that's why I'm stopping, because now I'm at a point where they want you to uh, mark these plates so that you know what number cylinder they go to and stuff. So I'm just going to stop there tonight. i got plenty of time. I've got about got about another month before we really kind of need the car because um, then we'll be back to school and everybody will need a car. Caitlin will need to go to work. I got to take Thomas to school. Philip needs a car for school. Babe will need something to drive for her job. So we'll have to have the car running by then. But until then, I got plenty of time and that's, that's the trick. So uh, just keep organized and follow the instructions. Um, if it says to mark something, mark it. You're going to need it later for some reason. Um, you know, it, it just the way things line up and the measurements you got to take and all that kind of stuff so uh, like I said this is not a how-to but this is a you can do it just take your time um, you know you're probably gonna make mistakes but just follow along and make sure you do everything that it says to do um, so right now that's, that's what I'm saying like this I couldn't even get the dipstick out yet because I need one of those it's, it's a stud so I need a little e Torx or whatever it is a little bitty thing to get it off so I'll get that off and remove it but that's no big deal I can still continue with everything else while that's still sticking there so anyway that's it um, hopefully we can if you got some suggestions for me before I get to the next part please put them in the comments down there um, you know this is something uh, that's kind of the, the third reason and one reason I'm stopping tonight is I'm running out of space over here so uh, I need to I think what I'm gonna do is just bring in the okay, we have a the nice uh, stainless steel we have this uh, stainless steel table that I picked up one time and uh, we usually, really, it, my wife does her planting and stuff out here on it and stuff. I think it's eight foot long, so that'll give me plenty of room. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it off. That's where I tore down the transmission at and redid the uh, the filter and stuff on there before I put it in the truck, um, just because it's, you know, it's easy. Uh, it's nice, you can keep the things clean. Don't worry about how dirty it gets. But I'm gonna bring it in and put it right here and that'll give me, you know, basically the full bench and I probably will transfer that stuff over to this since it's going to sit here for almost a month. Um, I'm just going to take my time 
and uh, keep everything organized i'll probably clean everything in sections so um you know i'll, I'll clean all the well the lifters and stuff i won't have to because i already did that um, when i took the head off and tried to change the lifters out but as you can see uh, the lifters was not the problem it's that cylinder number three right there pretty much missing that quarter half of the piston there and, um, there's all the pieces that came out and that was the culprit um, the others actually I don't see any breakage on any of the others so they probably would have worked if I'd have just replaced that one um, you know from underneath I've heard people do that I'm um, just to get it back and running and stuff but I mean uh, it's something I wanted to try and so here we are and uh, we'll see how it goes so all right well catch the next part when i get to hopefully i'll have everything taken apart and it cleaned up and then i'll put another video out for it so like i said leave me comments and suggestions below and thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video